It was a major employer with a business which had been in the centre of Sunderland for 162 years. But 20 years ago, the Vaux Brewery closed its doors for the final time with the loss of hundreds of jobs. We're now a film looking back on the history of the brewery. It's being premiered in the city this evening and Jonathan Swingler joins us from Sunderland. Jonathan. Yes, we're at uh, Sunderland Museum and Winter Gardens where this film is being shown later. People have fond memories of Vaux and it was an incredibly sad day when it closed. We've been looking through the Look North archive and some of the footage for this latest film. Thank you for working for us. It was the end of an era for Sunderland when in 1999 Vaux closed its gates. Look North filmed the boss, Frank Nicholson, as he said his goodbyes. I do know. 430 lost their jobs. 240 took early retirement or found other work, but it left 190 unemployed. Terrible. Gotta get on with it. Gotta get on with life. There's more to Vox. There's life after Vox. The contents of the site were auctioned off. Former employees wanted to own a piece of their history. Uh, I'm, looking for, I'm looking for the old clock, which I've wound up too many hours to remember. And some of the some of the stuff we've cleaned in the in the harness room, just just as mementos of keepsake. A film now looks back on the history of the site, and we hear the stories of the people who worked there. One thing people remember clearly are the Vaux horses, which pulled the wagons through the streets. 1977, we I think we appeared on the Austin Pickers Girls magazine. We were better known than anybody else in the brewery. Everybody knew the horse drivers. Other staff were pleased to appear in a TV advert for Vaux. <laughs> They made us practice and practice so we knew the whole song. Yes. <laughs> and we, I don't think we were only about three seconds and just saw yes, us hanging out the window. Very, doing very this. quick advert yes. on the TV. But yeah. Yeah. It was a sad day when the site closed, but there are fond memories too. Well, joining us now is Mark, who worked on this film, the filmmaker. Um, why make this film in the first place? The story of Vaux is intrinsically linked with the story of Sunderland and the passion and the fondness that people have for the brand, it, it's, a, it's an anomaly, it's unique to Wearside. Um, and why we wanted to make this film is because even though the brewery is no more, that kind of camaraderie, that kind of friendship, that kind of family that people who worked at Vaux have, it still exists in Sunderland. You know? What was it like to make the film? It was an absolute joy. Everybody that we met, um, that there are hundreds of anecdotes, amusing times. You know, um, people are talking about um, fun that they had when they worked there. Everybody keeps using this word family, the Vaux family that they were part of. Well, as we saw in the report there, joining us now is Frank Nicholson, the former boss at Vaux. Um, 20 years on, how are you feeling? <laughs> 20 years older, <laughs> um, I think that I live every day remembering what it was like. It was a great company and of course the great company was made of the great people who worked there who really were second to none so having this film made gives the opportunity to record some really happy memories. It was a happy place. What do you personally miss about it the most? I think the interaction, uh, Mark referred to the family feel, the friendship between us all, and that I miss every day, the greeting of so many people who work there. There's more than 600 people work there, and I certainly knew them all, and we, most of us knew each other, and I miss that terribly. What was it like that uh, a film has been made about it now? Well, it's a tremendous, uh, almost a celebration. There's not much to celebrate, actually. The tragic closure of our beloved brewery isn't a celebration, but it's wonderful to hear the memories and to see the memories and the happy memories that people have, along with happy memories I have. And in terms of a legacy, uh, there's going to be a statue, I understand, sort of built there. Have you heard about this? I have, yes. Uh, I believe the council have just commissioned uh, Adrian horses. And uh, at the moment, all they're wondering is what they're going to call the horses. So a fitting tribute? A fitting tribute, indeed, yes, as long as they get the names right. And you haven't seen the film yet, so looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to it very much. Fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Back to you in the studio. OK, Jonathan, thanks very much for that.